Welcome to the Head Start Show, where I, Shivad Singh, interview the most successful and inspiring young people in the world. This is done with the aim to inspire and fuel you to take action on your dream. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Part 1. Inspire! Hey Head Starters, I'm so excited for today. Today we have a special guest today, Nishka Ayer. Hey Nishka! Hi. So Nishka, I know you're a bit sick, but thank you for still doing the interview. <laughs> so for those who don't know, Nishka Ayer is the co-founder of Prom L, the first peer-to-peer -peer rental marketplace for teenage girls to rent and lend party wear among each other. Her company aims to democratize the world of teen fashion. She also founded Music Buddies, which recruits student performers to perform at senior communities across the San Francisco Bay Area. Oh, and did I forget to mention that she is just 16? So Nishka, I gave the Head Starters a teaser trailer about you. So walk us through your journey before you got here. So I was born in Mountain View in California and I've lived in the Bay Area since then. I'm currently a 10th grader or sophomore at Harker School in California. And at school, my favorite subject would probably be math. Um, but business started out as a curiosity for me when I first entered high school. And I didn't really know what starting a business meant or what entrepreneurship really entailed. But I did a two week summer program at school before I started ninth grade. And I really enjoyed the process because what we did was we developed idea, an idea, we built a pro product prototype, then we created a business plan and we pitched it to an audience. So then I joined our school's DECA club and I also enrolled in the business and entrepreneurship class to get more experience, exposure and experience with this. Um, but besides that, I love playing volleyball and I play both at school and competitively. I'm also a clarinetist in my school's orchestra, and I have trained and performed Bharatanatyam, which is a classical Indian dance form. Oh, nice. So, Nishka, <laughs> you are? So, you're a dancer, entrepreneur, musician, <laughs> and sportswoman. <laughs> That's what you're going to put for your bio. <laughs> okay. So, so, what is Promel exactly? So as you said before, it's the first peer-to-peer -peer marketplace for teen girls to rent and lend party wear amongst each other. So using Promel, teenage girls in middle and high school and even college can easily make money by listing and lending their quality barely used dresses to others, while also saving money by renting a dress when they need one. And how did this idea come about? Did an apple also fall on your head? <laughs> no, I don't think it had to do with an apple, but... Um, the idea came about a, a year and a half ago. So Rhea and I were in, we were in a business class together at school and a project that we had was to come up with an entrepreneurial idea that both solved a problem that was going on and uh, developed a business case for it. So at the same time, I was looking for a formal gown as part of the homecoming court for our class. And there were really strict guidelines. Um, and like all of these dresses were upwards of $100, $150. And I knew I wouldn't wear the dress again, which meant that this dress, like a few others, would just collect dust in my closet after being worn once. And I would have spent a lot of money to just wear it one time which seemed like such a waste to me. So it got me thinking and I started asking a bunch of my friends if they were facing the same problem. And so they were, so I thought like, wouldn't it be nice if there was a way to just solve this problem? Um, so I discussed this with Rhea for part of that entrepreneurship class and we did it for that. And then once that was over, we decided to take it long-term. So when did you, so Nishka, could you tell us like what your biggest challenge was and how did you overcome it? Um, well, my biggest challenge probably still exists and it's being able to manage my time effectively between everything I have. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I definitely had to learn to make trade-offs and give up some things in order to focus on the more important things because between like work and Permel deadlines, managing music buddies, playing the clarinet and volleyball. I pretty much have my hands full and then I have to make time to have friends as well. 
<laughs> so, so like you're saying, obviously some stuff were like unimportant. Like, what did you cut out? Um. Well, definitely socializing. Like, I wouldn't say anything's unimportant, but I just had to figure out what, like, what I had to give up. So I, I've spent. I've had to spend less time on volleyball and clarinet. Like, less time than I would like to. Because there's just so much else I have to do, and I guess you probably don't have time to watch TV. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I managed to get a little bit in here. Yeah, no, no, you have to, you have to, you have to. You need, you need that break. <laughs> yeah. So, what would you consider to be your biggest failure, and what did you learn from that experience? Um. Well, I wouldn't say that. I mean, I'm only 16, so I obviously haven't had like a huge <laughs> failure yet. But there's always like the little things, like when I don't know something on the app doesn't work, or like doing not so well on a test and things like that. So it's just like what most people my age experience as well.、Um, and I used to get really disappointed about these things, but I mean, it's normal. So I just learned to like work harder next time. I like you, like you just accepted it. Like you never get angry for like failing. I used to. I used to get pretty angry. <laughs>、uh, but I don't know. I guess I don't really as much anymore. What's the? I also. Well, I also. I used to not work very hard. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but thankfully, like. Uh, I don't know. I've gotten to a point where I'm working pretty hard now, so I guess that's paying off. So okay, so what's the the reason for now, like working pretty hard? Well, before I didn't like, I don't know. There was no reason for me to be organized about my schedule and like manage everything. So now I have so like so many things I have to do that I need to make sure I'm getting everything done. So, I don't. Know. It's also now I'm in an environment where before I I've gone to really great schools my whole life, but the school I was at before Harker, it put more emphasis on like being a good person and things like that.、Um, and Harker does like it's such a great school. It does put an emphasis on that, but everyone here works so hard that you're in an environment where everybody around you is working really hard, so you just feel the need to work that hard as well. Oh wow, man! Yo, oh, that makes so much sense. It's all about your environment. Yeah, definitely. Hey, Headstarter! I really hope you enjoyed that episode. Check out the playlist for other parts of the episode. If you want to watch the full episode as a podcast, then check out the links below. Oh, and remember to subscribe. Uh, that's awkward.